to Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels. I'm Michelle Newman. Today's program is all about cats. And like all Wheels Up episodes, it has three segments. First, I'll take you on a trip looking at cats around the world, including pet cats, lions, tigers, jaguars, and more. Next, we'll craft with Caroline, making a cute bookmark and a fun black cat. Next, I hope you'll play along as we play Cats Trivia. From the tiny rusted spotted cats of Sri Lanka to the massive Siberian tiger of the Russian Far East, there are 40 species of wild cats in the world and each of them is as beautiful as it is unique. Today, I thought it would be fun to take a trip around the world looking at all different kinds of cats. One of the most popular pets on earth, the family cat is a beloved member of countless households. While we know that a kitty curled up in front of our fireplace is different from a lion stalking the Serengeti, the similarities between the two may surprise you. All cats, large and small, lick their paws and scrub their faces in pretty much the same way. And both wild and domestic cats spend between 16 to 20 hours a day sleeping. They all have a great sense of smell and excellent vision and hearing, using both sight and sound to hunt and detect movement. When cats rub on each other and objects, they deposit chemicals from the scent glands located on their foreheads, cheeks, and chins. They also exchange scents when their bodies and tails rub against each other all in a means of marking their respective territories. A tree trunk if you're a lion, the couch if you're a cat. And all cats communicate. The domestic cat purrs but is unable to roar. The bigger cats, lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars, have a bone in their throat that gives them the ability to roar but prevents them from purring. Cougars are the largest cat to purr, while a version of hissing and growling seems universal to all. While there are many similarities, there are a few major differences. For example, domestic cats almost all dislike water, probably because they are adapted from dry, arid regions. However, various big cats, like tigers and leopards and jaguars and lions, are famous for cooling off in watering holes and seem to truly enjoy being in the water. If you've ever gazed into a domestic cat's eyes and wondered why they don't look like yours, or even like those of a big cat like a tiger, you're on to something. Domestic cats, active both night and day, have slit pupils that help them see in dim light, yet not get blinded by the midday sun. Bigger cats, like tigers and lions, have pupils that are round, like humans and dogs. Let's look at a few of my favorite wild cats from around the world. Unlike cougars or other wild cats, lynxes do not sink into the snow. Their long, round feet have a big toe set at a wide angle, which helps to distribute their weight and allows them to stay on top of the snow. This makes it easier to hunt in deeper snow at higher altitude. There are four different species of lynxes. The Iberian lynx can be found in Spain and is one of the most endangered cats in the world. The bobcat roughly the size of a large domestic cat, is the smallest lynx and is named for its short tail, which is banded with a black tip and is found in North America. Native to harsh winters, Canadian and Eurasian lynxes are well adapted to cold weather. They have thick fur coats to protect them and even their feet have hair. These wily cats spread their large paws out to use like snowshoes on fluffy snow. All four species of lynx have tufts of hair on their ears, though scientists are unsure what purpose this hair serves, and their tails are short. The curricle is often confused with the lynx, as both cats have tufted ears. However, a notable point of difference is that the lynx is spotted and blotched, while the curricle shows no such markings. Also, caracals are found in Africa. They have long, powerful legs that enable them to leap high and hunt birds. The cougar roams the Americas, where it is also known as the panther, puma, mountain lion, and catamount. 
This big cat of many names is also found in many habitats, from the Florida swamps to Canadian forests. Cougars are ambush predators, often hiding until prey is within reach and making a powerful leap. The cats can jump 15 feet high in a single leap. Sleek and graceful, cougars have very long tails, nearly three feet, are solitary and secretive animals, seldom seen by humans. And the cougar cannot roar. Instead, it makes chirping or yowling sounds when it needs to vocalize, and it has a hearty purr. Twice the size of the average house cat, the ocelot is a small American wild animal found from the very southern region of Texas to northern Argentina in South America. Each cat has a unique, gorgeous dappled coat with dark patterns on an orange, tan, and white coat. Ocelots are also sometimes called painted leopards because of their markings, and sometimes dwarf leopards because of their markings and their saws. However, ocelots are only distantly related to true leopards or tigers. They have pointed fangs and sharp back teeth, Ocelots are not roaring cats. Instead, they chuckle when excited and may mutter to one another. Margays climb high in the treetops of Central America, where they're known as the monkey cat. It's the only cat to possess the ability to rotate their ankles by 180 degrees to walk vertically down trees like squirrels. And they can even hang from a branch by one hind foot. Often confused with the ocelot, the margay's coat is similar with the tawny background patterned with black ringed rosettes and elongated blotches. Their fur is thick and plush and their tail is quite long. The margay also has extremely large eyes, which aids in its nighttime vision. Relative to their size, African servals are small slender cats with the longest legs of any cat, allowing them to leap up to 12 feet to land on prey. They have the largest ears of any cat. Atop their small heads, they have tall oval ears, which allow the serval to hear just about any peep on the savanna. Their extra long neck and legs give them the nickname giraffe cat. Servals have a coat that is tawny with both black lines and spots, while their belly is a soft white. Fishing cats are suited to a life in the wetlands of Asia. Beneath a long outer coat, they have a short layer of insulating fur that acts like a wetsuit. They have partially webbed feet. Their long whiskers detect fish moving in the shadows, shallows, helping to gauge the exact striking distance. The cheetah is the fastest land animal, capable of running up to 70 miles per hour, fast as a car. Its most distinguishing feature is its distinctive black tear-like facial streaks, which function much like a football player's black face paint to keep the sun out of the big cat's eyes while they hunt. Unlike most cats, the cheetah is active during the day. Most cheetahs live in eastern and southwestern Africa. A cheetah's claws don't retract when they run, instead acting a little like cleats to help the cheetah reach top speeds. Although cheetahs are fast, they aren't perfect hunters. Only about half of the time are they successful in catching a meal. The effort to catch prey lasts a mere 20 to 60 seconds, but is incredibly energy intensive. So every missed meal is a significant amount of wasted energy. Also, did you know cheetahs do not like to fight? They'll give up their prey if a larger, more aggressive animal approaches them. Jaguars are the largest cat in the Americas and have a powerful bite to match. They look a lot like leopards, but jaguar spots, actually rosettes, are more complex and have spots within spots. Jaguars used to be found throughout South America, Central America, and as far into North America as the Grand Canyon. However, their numbers have been decimated by habitat loss and hunting. There are now fewer than 15,000 jaguars in the wild, and they're considered an endangered species. While most cats dislike water, the jaguar enjoys water and swims, plays, hunts, and even fishes in rivers and streams. Jaguars have the strongest jaws. Their bite is twice as strong as the lion. In fact, the jaguar is second only to the hyena for the strongest bite of all animals. Leopards are big cats known for their golden spotted bodies. 
They thrive in more environments than any other wildcat. From the deserts of South Africa to the boreal forests of Russia, even the bustling suburbs of Mumbai in India. In Africa, the biggest rivals are lions, who will often steal food from the leopards rather than hunt for themselves. Snow leopards live in the Indian Himalayas, the world's highest living cat. Known as the ghost of the mountain, they roam huge territories where food is scarce and finding a mate is even harder. The snow leopard's long tail helps them to balance when chasing their nimble prey. And when it's cold, they wrap it around their necks like a scarf. Their large paws work like snowshoes, letting the cat walk on snow without sinking. And their long, powerful back legs help the cat make those impressive jumps. Snow leopards are more genetically related to tigers than common leopards, and their numbers are dwindling. Clouded leopards are one of the most agile climbers in the cat family, with huge feet to grip and an exceptionally long tail to help with balance. They have the largest canine teeth in proportion to their body size, equal to the length of a tiger's. This beautiful Asian cat, named for its spotted coat, is seldom seen in the wild, but are believed to roam from the rainforests of Indonesia to the foothills of the Nepali Himalayas. Lions are the second largest cat after the tiger, unique in that they're the only cats to live in large extended family groups and are the only social species of the cat family. Members of a lion pride are typically very affectionate with each other with plenty of cuddling and mutual grooming. As long as food is plentiful, the female lion will stay with a pride in which she was born for her entire life. Males, however, usually leave once they reach maturity forced out by the dominant male or males. These bachelors will sometimes form small coalitions of two or three and seek out another pride to take over. The male lion is the only cat to have a mane, giving it a regal appearance that has earned him the title of King of the Beasts. Also notable is the lion's roar, which can be heard up to five miles away because of the specialized structure of its vocal cords, a characteristic it shares with the tiger. Tigers are the largest felines in the world, easily recognized by their coat of reddish-orange with dark stripes. And did you know the tiger's tail is three feet long? No two tigers have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, their stripe patterns are unique to each individual and their stripes are even on their skin. All wild tigers live in Asia. Larger subspecies such as the Siberian tiger tends to live in northern, colder areas, such as eastern Russia and northeastern China. Smaller subspecies live in southern, warmer countries such as India and Southeast Asia. And many tigers actually really love to swim. At the beginning of the 20th century, 100,000 reigned across Asia and Europe, but today there are less than 4,000 in the wild. Big cat populations are decreasing at an alarming rate. An estimated 80% of wild cats are in danger, especially big cats like tigers, jaguars, and snow leopards. Habitat loss, poaching, and human-cat conflict have diminished wild cat populations. And while ongoing efforts are attempting to slow the decline, more work needs to be done. One thing we can all do is try to reduce our use of paper. Deforestation for the production of paper products is a significant contributor to the loss of wildcat populations. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at several cats around the world. Which one is your favorite? Well, that was fun. Let's go craft with Caroline. My name is Caroline and I'm so excited to do arts and crafts with you today. Today's video was all about felines, so today we're going to make two bookmarks, a tiger and a cat, and we're also going to make a black cat craft. I hope you have fun! So now we're going to make a cat bookmark. So what you need is two different colored pieces of paper. I'm using brown and white, but you can use whatever colors you want. And you also need scissors, glue, and markers or crayons or something you can decorate your cat with. Okay, so first I'm going to make 
the cat Bonnie, and my cat Bonnie is going to be brown, and the stomach is going to be white. So first I'm going to draw the cat's ears because they're connected to the body. It's a little bit easier to draw first. So starting from the top of my paper on the shorter side, I'm gonna go down and then across and then back up and then I'm gonna cut all the way down this way. So now this is what mine looks like and it's looking a little bit long so I'm gonna trim mine down but you don't have to if you like how long yours is then that's okay. But I'm just gonna cut a little bit off so that it looks like this. And now we're going to make the cat's belly. So my belly is going to be white, so I'm using my white paper, and it's going to be a little bit smaller than the, than the body. So I'm going to put it right on the edge of my paper so that it's a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to cut a rectangle. And now I'm going to glue it inside of my cat's body. So this is what mine looks like, and I had to measure it and make sure that it was a little bit smaller, and I had to trim it a little bit. But now, this is what mine looks like, and now we're going to make the paws for our cat. So, they have to be the same width as our cat, so I'm going to place it on my brown paper, because that's what color I want my paws to be. And I'm going to put a mark on either side of my cat, so that I have the width of it. And then, I'm going to draw a line across those two lines, and then make two swoops on the bottom with a line in between like this. And now I'm going to cut it out. So now we're gonna glue our paws onto our cat, but make sure that you only glue the top part, so only this part, because the actual paws are going to be what holds your place in your book. So I'm going to glue only the top and then glue it on. And you can even fold up your paws so that they stick up a little bit, like this. So now we're going to make our cat's other paws because it has four. So I'm going to measure again the width of my cat's body. And this time the paws are a little bit different They're like this. So now the other paws are cut out and now I'm gonna glue them on the bottom of my cat. Like this. And now we're going to decorate. So I'm going to use googly eyes for my cat's eyes but you can also draw them on with a black marker. So I'm going to glue on the eyes first. Like this. And now I'm going to make a nose with my pink marker and it's going to be a little triangle nose like this. Now I'm going to use a black marker for the mouth and the whiskers. And now I'm going to make a collar with a blue and purple marker. So I'm going to draw a purple circle like this. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle around it. So now my cat is all decorated, but I have one final thing that I want to do. And I named my cat Cookie. So I'm going to write that in its belly. So now, if you're reading a book and you stop in the middle, you could put your bookmark in and it saves your place. So now we're going to make a tiger bookmark. So I'm using black, orange, and white paper so that it looks like a real tiger. And first, we're going to make the actual bookmark and then we're going to decorate it. So the bookmark is going to be orange. And first, what we need to do is make our paper a square. So, if you take the corner and fold it down to here, and then crease it, we're going to cut this piece off, and then it's going to be a perfect square. 
So now it's a square. Now we're gonna fold it back up into the triangle. Then we're gonna take this top piece and fold it to the bottom. And then you could take one side and it's gonna go up and then into the little pocket. And then crease it. And then the same thing with the other side. So fold it up and then fold it into the pocket. So now you have the bookmark and now we're going to decorate it. So first you're going to make the tiger's ears. So you could take your leftover orange paper that you used to make your paper a square and you can fold it in half to make two ears and make sure that you cut along the not the side that's not folded and you're going to cut like a semicircle shape just like this and that's going to be the tiger's ears so now I'm going to take my black paper and fold it in half and then I'm going to cut along the non-folded side again and I'm going to make the ear shape again but this time you want it to be a little bit bigger than last time so that the orange piece can go inside the black piece and then it's like a background. Now I have to trim my orange ones a little bit so that they fit inside but that's okay. And then when you glue it inside, it'll look like this. So now I'm going to actually glue it. So the orange piece should go inside of the black one. So now they look like this. And now I'm going to glue them onto my bookmark. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom and glue it on. And then it should look like this. You can glue your ears either way, but I glued mine in the back. So this is what the back of the bookmark should look like. So now we're going to make the eyes for our tiger. So the eyes are just a white circle with a black circle inside. And then to make it like a glare in the tiger's eyes, there's a little white circle inside of the black circle. So first we're going to make the white circle. So you can fold your white paper in half so you get two. Again, on the non-folded side is where you're gonna wanna cut. And you can make a circle. You can make it as big or as small as you want it. I like it pretty big so that the tiger has big eyes, like this. And now, I'm going to make a black circle that's a little bit smaller. Okay, that's good. And now we're going to make an even smaller white circle again, and this is for the glare. So it should be pretty small, like this. So now we're going to glue it all together. So first is the big white circle, and then on top, you can glue the black one. But then last is the white circle, like this. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye. So now this is what my eyes look like. And now I'm going to glue them onto the bookmark. Just like this. Now we're going to make our tiger's teeth. So again, you can use the white paper and fold it in half. And on the non-folded side, you're gonna cut a triangle about this big. And then you can put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the triangle. And we're going to glue it inside of the little pocket right here so that it looks like the teeth are coming out of the tiger's mouth like that. So now I'm going to make a nose for my tiger and instead of using more paper, I'm just going to use my white paper and I'm going to color a little section red. And you only need one so you don't have to fold your paper. 
and then I'm going to cut a triangle and then I'm going to glue it onto the bookmark like that and finally we're going to make our tiger have some stripes so I'm going to use my black marker and you can draw the stripes wherever you want but I'm just going to draw some triangles on the top and then color them in. So this is what my tiger bookmark looks like. And now I'm going to put it in my book to show you. And it looks like this when it's in the book. So now we're going to make a black cat craft. So what you need is some black paper and then for the eyes, I'm using yellow paper, and for the nose, I'm using pink paper, but you can also use white paper and color it. And then you also need scissors and glue. So first we're going to make the cat's body. So you can fold your paper, your black paper in half this way, like the short way. And then we're going to cut a big semicircle. like this. And this is going to be the cat's body and we want it to stand up. So to make sure it can stand up, these are going to be the feet. So you want to fold it back, fold each foot back a little bit so that it can stand up on its own. Like that. So now we're going to make the cat's tail and I'm going to show you how I draw it. So I'm using a white crayon so that you can see it, but you don't have to use a white crayon. And it's going to be like zigzaggy all the way to the top. Then when you get to the top, there's going to be a little like tail. And then it goes back down to the bottom like this. Now I'm going to cut this out. So now my kit tail is cut out and it looks like this. And now I'm going to glue it onto the cat's body. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the tail. And I'm going to glue it in the middle, like here, and then fold this back down so that it looks like this. And now I'm going to make the cat's head. So now I'm going to use the black paper that I used for my tail, and I'm going to fold it in half. And then, this time we're going to cut it on the folded side. We're going to cut a semicircle like this, and now we're going to glue it onto the cat's body. It's gonna be glued on to the back and then also to the front so that it looks like it's like popping up kind of, like that. And now I'm going to make the eyes and the nose and the ears. So for the ears, you can fold your paper in half again and we're going to cut a triangle like this. And I'm going to glue that onto the cat's head like this. So now we're going to make the eyes. So I'm going to use some yellow paper and fold it in half to make two. And I'm going to show you how they're going to be drawn. They're kind of like almond shaped, like that. And now I'm going to cut this out. So now they look like this. And now I'm going to glue them on to my cat's face. And then I'm going to draw a black line in the middle of my eyes so that they look more like eyes, like that. And finally, I'm going to put on my cat's nose. So with my pink paper, I'm just gonna cut out a triangle. And now I'm going to glue it on. And now our cat is all finished. I hope you had fun making these feline themed crafts with me. Bye. Who's ready to play Cats Trivia? 10 questions, four answers, only one of which is correct.
Who's ready to play? Question number one. This big cat is the second largest cat and largest carnivore in Africa. Don't let your pride get in the way of guessing what cat this is. A, snow leopard, B, a lion, C, a tiger, or D, a jaguar. Second largest cat, and what? And the answer is B, lion. Question number two. Relative to its size, which African wildcat has the largest ears of any cat? A. Fishing cat B. Cougar C. Serval Or D. Rusty spotted cat. Which one has the largest ears and is found in Africa? It's C. The Serval. They are funny looking cats. Question number three. Which cat is the largest and heaviest of all cats with distinctive reddish fur covered in stripes? A. The cheetah B. The leopard C. The lion Or D. The tiger Cat is the largest and it has stripes and the answer is D. Tiger I bet every one of you got that one right. Question number four of all the big cats, this one has the largest distribution and is known for its golden fur covered in spots. A. Tiger B. Cougar C. Leopard Or D. Lion It roams the largest distribution and it has golden fur covered in spots and of course it's C. Leopard. None of those other ones have spots. Question number five. Which of the following is not a cat? Hmm, this one could be hard. A, the linsang. B, the caracal. C, the ocelot. Or D, the jaguar. Which of these is not a cat at all? And the answer is A, linsang. That's a monkey. But the caracal, ocelot, and jaguars are all cats. Question number six. Which cat is graced with a long furry tail, which can be used to provide warmth and is used to provide balance? A. Cougar B. Snow Leopard C. Bobcat Or D. Asian Golden Cat, which has a long furry tail and provides warmth? It's B. The Snow Leopard. I think they're quite beautiful and unfortunately endangered. Question number seven. Which of these spotted cats lives in America and has the most powerful bite? A. The clouded leopard B. The ocelot C. The jaguar Or D. The margay Which of these spotted cats lives in America with a powerful bite? And it's C. Jaguar Question number eight. All cats have the following characteristics. A. They dislike water B. They mark their territories. C. Their eyes are slits. Or D. They can all roar. What do all cats have in common? And it's B. They all mark their territories. Trees for lions, sofas for kittens. <laughs> Question number nine. What are the different names for the cougar? A. Panther. B. Puma. C. Mountain Lion Or D. All of the above What is the name for the cougar? And of course it has so many names and it's all of the above. Our last and final question. Question number 10. Which cat is the fastest land animal and has black tear-like facial streaks? A. The Jaguar B. A Leopard C, a cheetah, or D, a lynx, which is the fastest cat and has black tear-like facial streaks. It's a cheetah. You can definitely tell the difference. Well, thanks so much for playing trivia with me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to watch more Wheels Up episodes, you can find us on YouTube at Sunrise Association. 
we have our own playlist, Wheels Up. I look forward to seeing you next time.